Well, Karen, since sun up here on this dairy farm in Washington Parish, it has been nonstop hub of activity, getting up all new power lines, trees, getting cows, hundreds of them to have a new fence, tarps, roofs being rebuilt. The Red Cross has been here to see what people need. You can see the destruction behind me. But while people here say the tornado only lasted for seconds, they say the trauma is going to last a long time. Everywhere you turn at the Williams's organic dairy farm in Varnado, there is destruction. But inches from the twisted metal, snapped trees, and shattered possessions is a small farmhouse, untouched except for a broken window. Inside, a mother trembling in fear with her three most treasured possessions. You saved my babies. And even now, I'm just like, having nightmares in my head is what if, God forbid, because we were laying on the bed when it went off. Just the thought that in seconds, Mother Nature could have taken this mother's three little boys is devastating. And I look at that window and it's just like, what if the window pulled them out of the window? I, I'm, I'm, it just it scares me. Her husband, outside on the farm working with others, had moments to save his life. And I heard the hell when it started hell, and I told the other guys to get down and hang on. Another farmhand said he just left this trailer swept up by the winds. 30 minutes earlier, I would have been in that camper. The wind, the wind was just uh, ungodly. On the scene, the governor's office and Homeland Security, the U.S. Agricultural Department, and the National Weather Service. But the unwritten code of ethics around here in Washington Parish is neighbor helping neighbor, many on the scene cleaning up moments after the winds died down. Possessions and their livelihood they can rebuild, with all lives safe and accounted for. And the good news here uh, in Bogalusa, I should say, over in Bogalusa, is that uh, those three injuries, they were all minor. And what's interesting here on this dairy farm, the money it's going to cost them, they had to dump 600 pounds of fresh milk. And the cows, they say, will probably not produce for another month because of the fear that they go through in the disruption when they had to be out in the tornado. Reporting live from Varnado, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, back to you.